What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. I want to give a hearty congratulations to the WBC champion at 135 pounds. My main man, Shakur Stevenson, for going out and getting a very dominant victory over his opponent, Artem Haratarnian. You know what I mean? So... Very, really, really good victory for Shakur Stevenson. Of course, a lot of the boxing fans were watching this for the excitement meter of the fight because Shakur Stevenson's stock needs to remain high as he departs his promoter in top rank promotions. And so we are waiting for possibly Shakur Stevenson to, you know, we, we were hoping that Shakur Stevenson's stock remain high as he departs this outfit. And in last night's fights, I gotta say, man, the excitement meter was still kind of pretty low. Uh, there were boos from the crowd. There's scenes of people walking out of the arena. They were not happy uh, with the with the performance of Shakur Stevenson on an excitement level. And uh, this is Shakur Stevenson fighting in his own hometown. So this is kind of unfortunate to see something like this. Um, Shakur went in there and did what he normally he does. I mean, honestly, I thought he stepped on the gas a bit more. He did put himself in harm's way and he tried to break down uh, Artem and maybe try to get the stoppage. He was being he was you know reminding his grandfather in the corner that you know just he has time and you know he want to break him down and the guy still has power so he want to make sure that the power is gone before he goes in there for that stoppage but it's like that moment honestly never came there were a couple good shakeups in round six and i think it was also another one in round nine where shakur stevenson landed some real uh good body shots and he just did not capitalize off the body shots that he hurt artem with Man, I really wish he would have capitalized a little bit more off those moments. But unfortunately, it didn't happen, man. It didn't happen. I got to say, though, Shakur was putting himself in harm's way all night. He was walking the guy down. Just didn't. It's just like, honestly, he never, never, I think, never felt too comfortable with running up too much on Artem. You know what I'm saying? It's something about power in Shakur. Shakur want to make sure that all of your power is gone before he kind of goes in there for that. That's the thing I'm noticing with Shakur in, 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 at this stage in his career. When it comes to power punches, no, Shakur, if he's not sure that all of that power is gone and he still, you still got some pepper left in your shots, he's going to remain in what I like to call breakdown mode. And where you're just breaking the guy down constantly, breaking the guy down, you're hitting him with good shots upstairs, you're hitting him to the body, you're breaking him down round after round, but you just kind of stay in that mode. Everyone knows when you want to see these guys get each other out of there. You got to have that breakdown mode for sure. But then eventually, once you kind of broke him down, you got to step it on and then go after him. You know what I mean? And we never got that portion. There was a lot of close quarters fights. I mean, a lot, lot of close quarters fighting in this fight. You know, you know, more than Shakur normally does. Normally, Shakur stays to the outside, uses uh, his footwork and reflexes to get outside of your shots. I mean, Artem clearly wasn't landing much on Shakur. The, his landing percentage was still pretty, pretty low. Uh, Shakur's landing percentage throughout of his whole career from his opponents is only 16% fight fans. And so I'm sure that Artem was probably around that ballpark as well. So, I mean, yeah, he was trying to, you know, Shakur was trying to impose a lot of close, clo uh, close quarters more than normal. But it just didn't come. It was just him still just breaking them down round after round and not kind of going after him and putting that pep on him the way a lot of fans wanted to see. He got the victory. He gave himself a C-plus for his performance. And I don't know how much this performance will raise his stock on the way out the door. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hate to say it this way. I mean, they had the scenes of people leaving out and walking out. That's not good. And on top of that, Shakur had an opponent that I thought that was very stoppable. You know what I mean? So very, very unfortunate, man. I'm still a huge fan. I think he's still a boxing phenom. Um, as far as him on a pound for pound list and stuff like that, it still remains the same. He didn't lose anything last night. I couldn't say he gained anything last night. But most importantly, he didn't lose anything. And I guess that's the way to look at it to a certain degree. I mean, I don't think this is going to turn fans up on Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, and I'm looking at the comments from a lot of fans, and they're not happy with this performance. Say they put a lot of them to sleep. You know what I mean? So it, it is what it is, man. So we'll talk more about this on the live stream real soon. Sh salute to Shakur Stevenson for getting the UD over Artem Haratunian. To the next video, fam. Peace out.